Pontiacs for 1966. Cars with a lean, strong look. Cars designed and built with young people in mind. And for all those who think and buy young. Today, public taste is influenced more than ever by youth, by what young people want in a car. Over the years, Pontiac has stayed ahead of this trend with competition trying to keep up. This year, Pontiac is just too much. Every car in the line. Young people and all those who think and buy young want beauty, clean and simple, styling with flair and innovation. They want power and performance, performance they can feel for the lively pace of today's living. Those were the objectives. This is the result a line of cars especially built for the wide open world of youth. Bob, I wish it were mine. It sure is. I kind of hate to give it up. Well, thank you, Nancy. Thanks, Donna. Look, since you're going to be around, I'll give you the word when I want the next one, all right? Fine. Be glad to. Good. There are words you'll hear a lot of in 66. People are going to want the new Pontiacs more than they've ever wanted them before. Take this Catalina, backbone of the Pontiac line. It's sleek and powerful. Look at that front end. Bold, swept back, directional design. It looks like power. Vertical headlamps framed by a perimeter of body color to contrast with the simple chrome bezel. Original, but unmistakably Pontiac. And then, there's a 17-foot stainless steel side molding. Simple, clean, and right. Gives the Catalina and the Star Chief Executive Series a slim, lean look. And it protects the body paint, too. But, uh, wait a minute. I just said Star Chief Executive Series, didn't I? Well, that's right. That's a new name for 66. Star Chief Executive. And it offers a new model. A two-door hardtop to go along with a four-door sedan and the four-door hardtop. Anyway, let's get back to this Catalina. There's a new set of name plates and wheel opening moldings. But nothing to take away from the youthful zesty appearance of the car. The rear, brand new, carries out the clean, simple lines of the car. Long horizontal tail lamps, chrome framed, and Pontiac spelled out in the wide central panel, carrying out the contemporary custom look theme. Add the Ventura option and the Catalina is just about irresistible to anybody. Newly designed deluxe wheel discs, special nameplate, decor moldings, fender skirts, and in the trunk, a luggage compartment liner and spare tire cover. The interior, beautiful. Special Ventura trim, chrome moldings, and the new deluxe steering wheel. Quite a package, isn't it? Let's check a few other items standard this year on all Pontiacs. Padded door trim. Yes, it's in Catalina this year, as well as other models. Brand new instrument panels across the line with functional business-like square bombs. The clock, fuel gauge, and ammeter are front installed, too. You can imagine how much easier this makes service and installation. Heater controls have been changed for 1966 to provide simpler operation. Last year, the temperature control was independent of the blower speed control. 
This year, the two controls have been integrated into one unit to automatically provide the proper blower speed for the comfort level selected. This means that the blower is running whenever the heater is used, but you'll never notice it under normal driving conditions. Now let's go through a group of items that are standard on all Pontiacs and Tempests. Rear seat belts to go along with the front seat belts. Padded instrument panel. Inside rear view mirror. Outside left hand rear view mirror. Two speed windshield wiper and washer. Articulated wiper on Pontiac. Backup lamps. And there are large station wagon tires, improved door latches and a padded sun visor. They're all standard on the complete 1966 line, Tempest and Pontiac. There's a new accessory switch for both lines. You have to push the key in to rotate to accessory position. It reduces the chance of leaving the radio and so forth on to run down the battery. Another feature, the standard lamps on Pontiac this year. You get them for the glove box, ashtray, cigar lighter, parking brake warning, trunk, and you get courtesy lamps. You notice the difference? A lower, more pleasing tone in Tempest, too. You rang, sir? Yes, will you take the car now, Nancy? With pleasure. She does like that car, doesn't she? Can't say I blame her. Anyway, so far as ride, handling, and transmission go this year in Pontiac, there have been some changes in the tuning of the suspensions and so forth to make the ride even quieter and smoother. There'll be a better feel in the automatic shift. Although over 80% of the owners who filled out customer inquiries in 65 reported complete satisfaction. So major changes just weren't needed in the area of ride and handling or automatic transmission. Okay, now I want to show you something that'll thrill anybody from 16 to 60. You talk about a car that's young at heart. Here's one that practically does the twist. It's a new series for this year, the 2 plus 2. That's right, the 2 plus 2 series, not an option. It comes in a hardtop coupe and a convertible with series identification that's new, distinctive, and just right to capture that wide open world of youth. While we're with the new 2 plus 2, let me point out a couple more new Pontiac features for 66. The front end sheet metal and bracing have been improved to eliminate any hood flutter or shake. When you get your prospect out for a demonstration ride, point out that solid hood. It's something he can really see and a good sales point. Hey, Donna. Bring her in. There you are. Boy, what a bomb. My friends are going to flip over that. You can say that again. Thanks, Donna. I'll call you when I'm through. OK, but don't scratch it. Just look at that interior. Isn't it neat? There are four individual interiors available for each body style in the 2 plus 2 series. By the way, the black you see here replaces greens for this year in all Pontiacs. And then the new Stratos seat, standard on the 2 plus 2 and the Grand Prix. It's a brand new seat from design through production. And I know you'll agree it's more graceful looking, more contemporary. It looks like youth and the space age. There's more firmness. The back's a little higher. It conforms more to your body. It's less tiring for long trips. The right-hand seat is also available as an option with a reclining feature. The strato seat. It's right in there with Pontiac's youth image. Come on, let's take a look under the hood. There are some goodies here, too. The design of all V8 engines, including Tempest, has been refined to incorporate new lighter weight aluminum pistons and molybdenum face top compression rings. As a result, the engine will run smoother, 
And there'll be better oil sealing under high vacuum conditions, such as in city driving. More economy. Further, four-barrel carburetors are improved for better cold weather performance. And a new fuel pump gives better hot weather and high altitude performance. Now, don't forget this four-barrel, 421-cubic-inch engine. It's powerful, and that means youthful. It's standard on the 2 plus 2, of course, and it'll be an easy-to-sell option for other series. The 389-cubic-inch tri-power engine has been discontinued for Pontiacs, but remains as the top engine in the GTO. Another feature under the hood, an industry first. A new line of batteries. We call them energizers. Standard on the Grand Prix and 2 plus 2, they give you more cranking power, better cold weather starts. And the Delco Eye shows whether you need fluid or not. Black, it's okay. When it glows like this, it needs fluid. These new batteries or energizers can be ordered as an option on any Pontiac. So give your customers a break. For a couple of dollars, they can get a better, Bigger battery with 16% more cranking power and the Delco I. Okay, Donna, take her away. This is the Bonneville four-door hardtop with the brome option. It's the best-looking car on the road with an elegance that will leave a lot of more expensive car buyers shaking their heads in dismay. The side view is thinned and lengthened by visually stopping the body paint at the lower peak line and by the use of horizontal bright lines. Also, the Bonneville lettering is in a new location. The rear end is completely new in appearance featuring three bulb taillights on each side that extend almost completely across the car for a long, low, horizontal look. All three bulbs light up, too, for stop and turn signal indication. New this year. One thing about the Brougham option, sell your customer the Cordova top, too. It really belongs with the Brougham. Oh, yes. There are new tires this year, too, on Pontiacs and Tempests. The optional white wall band is narrower and recessed for better scuff resistance. Quietness, customer inquiries say the best on the road. But the weather stripping and glass control mechanism have been improved for even better performance. Believe me, your customers are going to be all smiles when they get their 66 Pontiacs on the road. They're smooth and quiet, and they'll get up and go with a touch of the toe. Man, they're built for people who think young. Don't forget the articulated wipers. They've proved to be a top sales feature, and they're now standard on all Pontiacs, Catalina through Grand Prix. Air conditioning, both tri-comfort and automatic, has been improved. The automatic for added levels of performance, quieter operation, and more accurate response. The Brome interior? Well, just take a look. It'll speak for itself. And listen to this. It's available this year on the Bonneville convertible and two-door hardtop. A couple of more items regarding the Bonneville series. There will be a three-seat station wagon only, with the second and third seats folding. A power-operated tailgate window and seat belts on all three seats will be standard on the new model. Okay, Nancy. Take her away. The Bonneville convertible has been beefed up in the frame and body for a more solid, shake-free ride. Your prospects will feel this right away. And something else, the most expensive cloth trim ever put in a convertible will be offered with a new Brougham option this year. Well, there it is, the best-looking Grand Prix yet. Never before has there been such an appearance of quiet, quick power.
clean, simple elegance. Dual exhausts are standard, and the car will really move out. It's the kind of a car a young, active executive will just have to have. The front end is new, different, modern, a designer's front end that didn't change much from sketched concept to metal. It has class and guts with absolute distinction. The rear end is wide, real wide, with everything contributing to a low horizontal look. No V crest, but sharp block letters tell you what the car is in case there's any doubt. To go with the Strato bucket seats that you saw earlier, there's a Strato bench seat, optional on Bonneville Coupes and Grand Prix. The reclining right-hand seat feature is available as an option here, too. Okay, Donna, roll it. That's the wide open world of Pontiacs to meet the wide open demand for a youthful automotive image by today's buyers. Okay, let's move on to the rest of the 1966 get up and go cars. First, let me introduce you to another brand new series, the GTO. That's right, the GTO is now a series, not an option. There's a distinctive front end with Grand Prix type parking lamps standing out on the grill and a special rear end treatment featuring a wide six lamp horizontal tail lamp design. For stop and turn signal indication, three lamps on each side light up. What a car. It's going to get a big play from the younger set and from those who think young, too. You know, she's 100% right. This GTO is going to take the public by storm. But so is the Tempest Custom and the Le Mans. All series appear slimmer and more graceful. The clean, simple side treatment with the lower belt line suggests a sports car flair. There's nothing boxy about these styles. And the windshields of all coupes and convertibles have more rake or slant to give a lower silhouette. All the roof lines are new, particularly on the coupes. The recessed rear window is striking, a complete breakaway from conventional design. It'll capture the fancy of every prospect that walks in the showroom. Another feature for all sport coupes are the new thin windshield pillars. You can see that the sharp new Strato seat is available as an option in this series, too, as well as the Le Mans. It's almost exactly like the seat in the Pontiac, just slightly narrower. Here you can also see the reclining seat option. This option comes with left and right hand headrests, by the way. And for the driver, there's a new rally gauge cluster option. The young people are going to like that one. The GTO is going to attract a lot of attention this year. Under the hood, a 389 cubic inch V8 engine with four barrel carburetor is standard. As I mentioned earlier, you can still get a triple two barrel carburetor option if you wish. The new Energizer with the I indicator is standard on GTO too. Now here's some news that'll flip you. Manual transmissions have all forward speeds synchronized this year. Shifting will be smoother than ever. One caution about ordering. The standard three-speed cannot be ordered as a floor shift this year. A floor shift requires a heavy-duty three-speed option, and this is available with a V8 engine only. A floor shift is also provided with a four-speed option and the automatic transmission. Okay, Nancy, take it away.
Here's the new Tempest four-door sedan. Isn't it a beauty? The front end is much more impressive. Gives a look of power and purpose, a youthful look. The rear end, as in the other series, features a strong treatment to emphasize width and lowness, a look of power. Optional tires, as with Pontiac, have the narrow recessed white sidewall band for appearance and scuff resistance. Inside, there's a newly designed deluxe steering wheel and an ashtray that rides easily on ball bearings. Brake and accelerator pedals are hinged and suspended from the dash. This permits the driver to place his foot in the most comfortable position and allows easier, more thorough cleaning of the floor. You know how you always save the best for last? Well, that's just what I've done. Now I'm going to show you one of the most exciting things that's happened to the Tempest line in years. See this? This emblem and what it stands for is going to be the talk of the industry and Tempest customers. Donna, start her up, will you? Quiet, isn't it? And smooth, smooth as silk. It's a brand new engine, an exclusive with Tempest. Take a look at that and listen to her purr. Look different? You bet it does. It's an overhead cam inline six cylinder engine. It uses regular fuel and puts out 165 horsepower with a 230 cubic inch displacement. And let me tell you this, it'll walk away from our present six two or three car lengths by the time you hit 40. So you know what it'll do to the competition. Let me show you one of these power plants in more detail. Donna, take her away now. The overhead cam principle is used extensively in racing engines, both the big Indianapolis type cars and in sports type cars like the Ferrari. Well, right away, you might ask, what about economy? Well, we could do two things with this engine get more economy than the present six, or maintain the same economy while increasing the performance significantly. Well, we went the performance route, and here's how. In today's engine, the hydraulic lifter can't follow fast enough above 4,600 RPM, and in effect, the valve stays open. Now, in this engine, we have a brand new method of driving the overhead cam. Instead of a timing chain, we have a neoprene timing belt reinforced with fiberglass cords. This new belt never stretches, never gets loose. Now look at the difference in the old pushrod type valve train and this new one. You can readily see that there are far fewer parts and the parts have less inertia. This fast valve train makes it possible to design better camshafts that can open and close the valves faster in the neighborhood of 6,500 RPM as opposed to the usual 4,600. The engine runs faster and gives better performance. Remember, this valve train is a first in the American automotive industry. And so is the automatic hydraulic lash valve adjuster that keeps this engine so quiet, smooth, and free running. Another thing, there's a V8-type combustion chamber, and the valve size is larger. This contributes to higher performance also. It's a fully machined chamber, allows the compression ratio to be raised to 9.01 as compared to 8.61 in other sixes. The carburetor has a larger throat and venturi to accommodate the freer breathing capability of the engine. I could go on forever telling you about new design features in this engine because it is so new and revolutionary. But to sum it up, it's an overhead cam in line six with performance that's almost unbelievable and economy as good as our present engine. There is one more big thing, though,
the serviceability of this engine. A mechanic can pull the cam on this engine in about an hour and a half. It used to take over four hours. An accessory housing located on the outside of the engine contains the fuel pump, distributor, and oil pump. Easy to get to for service. Your customers and servicemen will like these service features. They'll save valuable time. Incidentally, the drive for these items is located inside the engine on other cars. This engine will really move a car. It'll make a hit with that wide open world of youth. Come on, I've got something else to show you. There you are, a brand new model for Tempest Custom and Le Mans, a four-door hardtop. Now, that's a classy looking car, a car that looks like it'll really move out, and it will. Let me tell you why. When we were talking about the new overhead cam six a while ago, I held something back on you. That engine is available with a four barrel carburetor option and it is hot. The Sprint 6, it'll really leave a lot of those eights behind and your young type prospects are going to be amazed when they drive it. You know, a four barrel carburetor on a six is quite an innovation. It's been done once or twice before and that was with special racing packages. But this is a regular production option. 207 horsepower on premium fuel. One caution about your ordering. The engine can only be ordered as a sprint option on Tempest, Tempest Custom, and Le Mans, but not on the station wagons. It includes engine, three-speed manual transmission, sports-type shock valving, a heavy-duty stabilizer bar, and the sprint nameplates. Of course, other options are available too, such as power steering, automatic transmission, power brakes, and so forth. The sprint option is a wide open package. Just watch it go. You've seen just some of the wide open Pontiac world for 1966. There are cars to please the most youthful prospect you have. Cars to please the older customer who feels young at heart, appreciates the clean, simple lines and power of youth. Today's market is dominated by buyers who think young. It's a wide open market and you have the cars to stay ahead of that wide open world of youth.